welcome Marcella and Maxi. for being here. It's really, really great to get back on this lovely stage and well, basically, I don't know about the rest, but I didn't expect to see such an amazing outcome for today. So thank you all for coming on this Friday and witnessing, well, basically this historical day for East Apple, so we hope you keep having a good time. To be very honest with you, uh, we're playing this song together with the three of us, but we haven't actually rehearsed it together. It's the first time. It's the first time. But that makes it extra special.
for us because for some of us we never met before and we're singing all together the girls of Eve's Apple and if I'm talking to you right now it's because we are gonna have a little break we have something very special Eve's Apple decided to offer some rewards to special people who supported us supported some values that we share and we'd like to do this right now so I would invite Melissa and Grace on stage with me to do this So these are the very, very first Eve's Apple Awards and we very hope that there are going to be much more in the future. So I would uh, maybe start with the first one. You know, we support, we're here all to support female-fronted metal and we need events, we need people, we need bands, but we also need webzines and distributors, labels, and so on. If, and if there is one that really helped female front metal to be spread all over the world for 15 years, I would like you to give a huge applause to Sonic Cathedral. <laughs> for the loyal support to the cause. for you. you. Okay, so this next award is our Honorary Apple Award. And this goes out to a very, very, very special person who made this possible for a lot of us apples, as you can see. So let's give it up for all the apples, first of all, yeah. from all over the world. Yeah. Thank you. Many continents. So... Many of us wouldn't be able to get here in the first place without the help of this amazing person. And that person is Jack Williams. So let's get Jack up here, if we can, to accept this award. This person is one of the kindest souls. He has come into our lives and basically become a part of so many of our bands and um, 
personal lives and um, is just an amazing individual. So if we can get Jack up here. Okay. All right. So uh, Jack is not here. So let's give a round of applause to Jack. Thank you, everyone. And uh, we can give our next award. Hi, everybody. Are you guys having a great time? Is this a good kickoff to this awesome festival? Is this not the best festival on this fucking planet? Yeah. And so this next award is specifically for this. It's the Orchard Award. It's a brand new, again, Eve's Apple Award um, that we're giving to very special people that have supported us for many, many years. And in this case, 10 years. And uh, as you all know, this is the 10th anniversary. And so I'd like to bring out Phil and Val, if she's back there, to come on up and accept this apple from all of us to you, my dear. Well, I don't know what to say. Only one word, I think. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay, guys. Looks like we found Jack. So, come on, Jack. Thank you. Okay, and you want to give a speech for a A little word, a little word for the audience. <laughs> I uh, support Eve's Apple with all my heart, and I did the best I could to make this very special for all of you. And I hope you uh, love them as much as I do and enjoy this amazing talent that's on the stage. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Can I warn everyone? Thank you. Show. A few more apples to perform for y'all. So stick around. <laughs> so for those of you who are like Angel and I, founder of After Forever, you might recognize this song because it is our choice, and it's my choice for sure.
stage right now <laughs> you've seen again it is Maxi and VK <laughs> well we have to move again <laughs> I'm sorry I'm getting paid from the festival for doing this actually First of all, for this song, uh, this is a song I wrote about 10 years ago. Uh, it's called Cave Behind the Waterfall. It's going to be released, it found its way finally, it's going to be released with the next album, Vision of Atlantis. And it's a great honor to sing it with my sister Vicky Aileen and Mr. Rafael Saini on the percussion, please. Must fall apart, 
very, very special moment for me. Please welcome on stage, Melissa. Uh, should we mention what song we're doing and who we're doing this for? Yeah, uh, I didn't. Well, this song, yeah, we have to dedicate it to Nicole. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no many words left to say. Nicole, wherever you are, this is for you.
please welcome on stage Mark Sama. <laughs> she came. Yeah, I forgot to do my job. Wait. If I.
Bravo. You are very dark. <laughs> okay. Are you live? Yeah. That was perhaps at the best. I'll give you one more chance. Are you alive? Yeah. That sounds better. Okay. I hope you all have a drink in your hand because I'm going to say some words and if I start talking, I'll never end. Okay? I was supposed to sing a new song of mine called Fearless. <laughs> yeah, but something happened. And it was a very hard thing for me. My first big love died last week. I was told by mail. And I was shocked. <laughs> I don't want to make this something it was not. We were kids, we made out and we kissed and we had our first alcohol experiences with making out. And um, now, now his body is rotting in a wooden box six feet under and I don't understand it. There was one thing he used to say to me and it's the greatest feeling and the whole universe is the feeling of skin on skin and I don't know if there is a life after death but I hope that if there is it feels just like this for him skin on skin for eternity <laughs> I when I stopped crying after like 24 hours or so. I googled him because I wanted to look at a picture of my ex-boyfriend and my first true love and I found nothing. There was not one single picture, no link, nothing that would have shown me that this man existed. Nothing. So I changed my plans. I'm not going to sing Fearless tonight. I'm going to sing a very special song, song, <laughs> special song, no, song, uh, that is connected to death for me. It's hard for me to do so because I'm going to cry <laughs> in the first minute I do so. I want to prove that this man existed. I want you to prove it with me because if you know that song, sing it with me. The song is Ever Sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> Once I traveled seven seas to find my love. And once I sang seven hundred songs. Well, maybe I still have to walk 7,000 miles until I find the one that I belong. I started to lie. <laughs> Can I hear you? Come on, give me some power. I am only one and you are so many. Don't you know that song? Yeah! Who can sing along? Yeah! Only the right side. What, what's with you? <laughs> this is so awkward right now. <laughs> One, I travel seven seas to find my love, and once I sang seven hundred songs. Well, maybe I still have to walk seven thousand miles until I find. The one that I belong I will rest my heart side by side To the one that stays in the night I will lose my breath in my last words of sorrow And whatever comes will come soon Diana will pray to the moon That the ones will be a better tomorrow once I cross seven rivers to find my love And once for seven years I forgot my name 
Well, if I have to, I will die Seven deaths just to lie in the arms Of my ever-sleeping name I will rest my heart side by side To the one that stays in the night I will lose my breath in my last words of sorrow And whatever comes will come soon Diane, I will pray to the moon That the ones will be a better tomorrow I will rest my head side by side To the one that stays in the night I will lose my breath in my last words of sorrow And whatever comes will come soon Diana will pray That he came to me He said, why you love? Why do you cry? For now it won't be long anymore I'm telling my book we will I'm telling my book we not only one or two ladies, I announce them all. Please welcome on stage all of the extremely awesome ladies of Eve's Apple! Woo! <laughs> 